11 tips for proper use of the gold screen sensor. After each measurement, wait about 3 to 5 seconds in order to allow the device to reset to zero. The ambient temperature and the temperature of the test object should ideally be between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius as electrical conductivity is temperature dependent. The dimensions of the object are important to completely cover the coil and ensure the necessary penetration depth. We therefore recommend a minimum thickness of 0.9 to 1.1 millimeters and a minimum diameter of 17 to 20 millimeters. This means that objects such as the 10 Vernili gold coin or the 1 10th ounce Krugerrand can also be tested. However, when measuring smaller objects, more and more air is included in the measurement as size decreases, which leads to a lower measurement result. This should be taken into account when interpreting the result. Avoid warming up the test objects in your hand or on a warm surface before measuring. Place the test object in the center of the marked area. Make sure to place it quickly and from above onto the measuring surface, rather than sliding it into place. Slight variations in the readings of the same test object are completely normal, as are minor deviations between measurements with and without packaging. What matters most is that the value lies within the acceptable tolerance range. Each object should be measured from both the front and back sides to ensure optimal penetration. Blister packs and capsules must not be too thick. Here is a table showing the maximum packaging thickness, depending on the size and expected conductivity of the test object. Feel free to pause the video and take a look at the values. When measuring through packaging, it is recommended to apply gentle pressure with your finger on the packaging to ensure that no air gaps distort the measurement results. It is important to note that objects with heavy embossing or pronounced ridges can produce distorted results due to air gaps. In such cases, we recommend using the gold screen pen as it allows precise measurements while the probe tip should be placed on a smooth part of the object. Finally, we recommend waiting about two minutes after turning on the device to achieve the best possible measurement accuracy. By carefully following these tips, measuring with the gold screen sensor will work perfectly every time. If you found the video helpful, let us know with a like. Don't forget to follow us so you don't miss any of our future videos. Stay safe and see you soon.